Hey there, Adam. Oh, hey, George. What can I do for you? Do you know what's going on with the police? Uh, no, they wouldn't tell me. Good. I, I mean, strange. It's annoying. I'm really tired. It was a long drive. Oh, been anywhere interesting? I've just come back from a coin fair. It was mega. Well, that's fascinating. What are you listening to? My meditation music. Crashing waves and trickling forest streams. Do you know Nico well? No, not really. Good. I mean, uh, good for you. So, uh, tell me more about this coin fair. It's Europe's biggest. So much to see. I bet. So, what do you think of this coin? Oh my god, that's a platinum 12 ruble. It is? I, I mean, uh, yeah, of course it is. You know, it's gonna be a rough day, Adam. Why don't you keep the coin? Are you serious? I'll get my pal Stefan to value it. His coin shop's just around the corner. Hey, maybe you could use the money to redecorate your apartment. But it doesn't need redecorating. That's a matter of opinion. The lid wouldn't open while the disc was playing. I stopped the disc. Ocean dreamscapes. Just what I needed with the day I was having. Those might come in handy. Fleur's classics were blaring out into the street. Sorry to bust in on you like this, Fleur. Don't worry, Georges. I knew you were coming. You did? Uh, so what else do you know? There's a 36% chance of rain. You've known Nico a while. What flowers does she like? Yellow. No, wait. Yes. Yellow, definitely. These papers, are they relevant? Only you can know this, Georges. George, take a few. Thanks. Nico? We're trapped. No way forward, no way back. Luckily, Inspector Nave is no Sherlock Holmes. But Sergeant Moo is a problem. At the gallery, I just played him with coffee. His bladder problem did the rest. Ah, that reminds me of my late husband. Pipi Pierre, they called him. I don't suppose you have a coffee machine, Fleur? I'm afraid not. I don't even have a kettle. Let's keep looking. There's always a way. I got you some beautiful tulips. That's sweet, Georges, but I'm not a big fan of yellow flowers. Oh, but Fleur said... Fleur doesn't know everything. Oh, typical. There were boxes stacked along the wall. They were all labeled. Florist's foam. Flower food. Ribbon. Pee pee. Bouquet labels. Pee pee? 
my curiosity was aroused. It was a plastic statue. Careful with that. It's just come in. Special order. What is it? A replica mannequin piece. Fill it with water, pop in some batteries, and watch it go tinkle. Hmm. Very tasteful. Flirt, do you mind if I change the music? Good idea. The sound of lapping waves was affecting Moo, but I was going to need something more to open the floodgates. I slotted the battery into the mannequin. A jaunty series of LEDs lit up around the figure. I poured the whiskey into the mannequin. Slant you, wee man. Slant you. I placed the statue in the trolley and switched on the waterworks. The mannequin cheerfully sprayed a stream of golden whiskey. Nice. I gave the trolley a push. Fleur certainly kept her bearings well greased. Okay, that's Moo out of the way. Let's go, Nico. Where? To see Bijou. She's been telling me a crock of lies since day one, and right now, I want the truth. So you're telling me that Bijou and Dobbs were having an affair? Yeah, so, she's got some explaining to do. Bijou, I need to talk to you. Can't it wait? I have such a sore head. No, it really can't. Oh, all right. In the daylight and without the fog of incense, the apartment looked even weirder. How delightful to see you. May I present my friend Nico? George and I go way back. Oh, really? Well, don't worry, my dear. I won't steal him, though he is rather a cutie. <clears throat> uh, Bijou, we're here to clear up a few points, if you don't mind. I believe this is for you. A diamond ring? What has that to do with me? A gift for you, from Henri. Henri bought me so many expensive things. He never needed to. This is a note from Hobbs that I found in your safe. How did you get access to that? How dare you? Bijou, you gave me the keys. I did? Oh, my head. I don't remember. We didn't do anything else, did we, Georges? The note is addressed to you. So Lane was telling the truth. 
You were in charge of the paperwork. Oh, so what if I was? That's not illegal? Nope. I needed to try something else. How are you, Bijou? I have the teeniest of headaches, Cherie. It always happens when I sleep in the afternoon. I figured it was the champagne before the nap that had done the damage. I need you to be honest with me, Bijou. So you had the provenance made. You knew it was fake. I'm not admitting anything. The note from Hobbes makes it quite clear that you knew him rather well. Oh, all right, I did. I think Henri asked Madofsky for more money so that he could buy you that ring. And maybe that's the reason he was shot. Nico. No, honey. She's right. Henri always felt he had to fight to keep me. Truth is, I love them both. Wilf and Henri. And now Henri is dead because of me. Go ahead. Ask your questions. I promise I will tell the truth this time. So, you and Hobbes are lovers? We have been ever since 75. Henri never knew about it. They were in a band together back then. So you are unfaithful to Henri right from the start. It was never cheating. I love them both. So you had Hobbes fake the provenance so that Lane would approve it for the insurance? Wilf passed it to me, and I persuaded Lane to sign it. He never knew it was a fake. Wilf is brilliant at what he does. So what was Madofsky's role in all this? It was all his idea. He'd had an offer on La Melodixio from someone. So Wilf put Madofsky in touch with me and Henri. He wanted to cash in on both the sale and the insurance. He set up the security company to deal with the robbery. I've been such a fool. Henri was never supposed to die. I know you didn't mean for that to happen. Wilf called me yesterday trying to comfort me. He said he would take care of me, that he had plans. Does that mean he has the penty? Yes. He joked about a secret place. Something about the original being behind my behind. I didn't understand. Thanks, Bijou. You've been very helpful. You know, I had the strangest dream earlier. Henri was here, and we danced together again. Such bliss. That must have been wonderful. Anyway, thanks again for your time, and... <clears throat> Nico, I think it's time we went to London. George, do you have something you need to tell me? No. Can't think of anything right now. Well, let's go, shall we? So in the end, Hobbes was at the heart of the whole scam. All we have to do now is find the painting. Yeah, then we blow everything open and nail Madofsky. I get that front page story. And I get to clear my name and keep my job. So much for your devil-worshipping Gnostic, Josh. Well, you know me. Nothing I like more than a good conspiracy. Hold on a second. What's the matter? This chain. It's from the gate. So? It's been forced. A break-in? Or maybe a breakout? Hobbs escaping from Lady Piermont? <laughs> maybe. But this doesn't feel right.
Hey, Nico, take a look at this. Hmm, do you think someone used it to force the gate? Possibly. But their loss is our gain. You never know when you're gonna need a crowbar. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. No Hobbs. Out cold, probably. A blast on the horn had worked last time. Hey, Nico. This drain pipe looks climbable. Are you mad? Hey, get out of here. Seagull problem, George? That's one nasty bird. Hey, Nico. What, Josh? Do me a favor and honk the horn. No problem. That was never going to happen. Hey, Nico. What's yours? Nico, could you honk the horn again? Sure. Be careful, Georges. Wait there, Nico. I'll come and let you in. Something isn't right. We'd better be careful. Come and take a look at this. Mon Dieu. It's a Manet? Oh, no, it's not. It's a Hobbes. In the style of Manet. Or, as the experts prefer to call it, a forged Manet. Hobbes isn't just a restorer. He's a full-blown forger. Oh, that must be... You. Hobbes is good. You look very pretty. And <laughs> that's you. Oh my, you look very... Violated. Yes. Is that Lady Piermo? Yes. Is she... Yep. In your... Yeah. Oh, so all along we were just modeling for a forgery. Forgery. Terrific, huh? 
I can add it to my murder rap. Let's just pretend this never happened, okay? Locked. If Hobbs is home, he's behind this door. Thanks, Josh. That was really starting to annoy me. What are you doing? I'm not exactly sure yet. I had a feeling the chain was going to be useful. That should do the trick. What now? Let's see what Hobbs keeps tucked away up here. So this is Hobbs' lair. Not exactly the penthouse suite, is it? Who knows what useful objects this cupboard might hold? Don't get too excited, George. Well, looky here. A useful bottle of Diet Copa. You never know when you might need a Diet Cola. Nico. What is it? Hobbs's answer phone, and he's got messages. Let's hear them. So Bijou knew about everything. At least she was faithful to Henri in the end. And what if Madovsky's guy got here first? What if Madovsky's guy's still here? Strange. Hey, Nico. Come and take a look at this. This painting, there's something familiar about it. It's a woman's buttocks, George. I know that, but I recognize them. 
know what? I think it's Bijou. I don't want to know how you know that, Georges. But didn't she say the painting was hidden behind her behind? Exactly. So maybe... Damn it, it's screwed into the wall. La Maledizio! We found it! Amazing! You're sure it's the real thing? Well, I'm no expert, but yeah, it must be. Look! In the middle! It's the same face that Hobbes drew on his sketch, and the same symbol cut into his forehead. He must have uncovered it when he was cleaning the painting. But I wonder why a tree was originally painted over it. Like Simeon said, hidden Gnostic secrets. We've got the painting, Nico, but there's got to be more to find in here. You're right. Once the police are involved, we won't get another chance. The sofa was a wreck. This is a true masterpiece. A fake masterpiece, you mean? It was a beautiful painting. Another Hobbes masterpiece. Hobbs' sandals lay on the floor. Oh no. What's up? Nico. Oh no, Hobbs! Is he? Dead? Sure looks that way. Poor guy. He's been strangled. You know, maybe Simeon was right. It seems like anyone who gets close to this painting dies. The painting didn't kill him, Georges. This is all about money. Whoever did this was a professional. We need to be careful. Dead man's mints. No law against taking them. You have no shame, Georges. The mechanism was for opening and closing the skylight. It looked corroded. Take a look at this. Someone's cut out a painting from this frame in a hurry. The canvas left around the frame looks just like La Maledizio. If we've got the original, then whoever killed Hobbes has grabbed themselves a forgery. Whoever had taken the painting was going to be disappointed. It was a bucket used to catch drips. Nico? Yes, Josh? What should we do now? It's pretty quiet up here. Let's take a look around. Want a closer look at the painting? Not really. Paying too much attention to that thing tends to get you killed. Nico, come and take a look at this. Looks like Hobbes has been busy. A map of Catalonia, sketches and notes on the painting. Do you think Hobbes was looking for this tabula veritatis? I think Hobbes was a lot cleverer than he seemed. It looks like a sketch of a figure from La Melodexio. I guess Hobbes was mining it for clues. A photograph of some kind of human pyramid. It's from an article about Castel Catala. 
It's Catalan, I think. Catalan Castle. Hobbes linked it to his sketch of the human pyramid from the painting. Another Ouroboros. Looks like Hobbes picked the painting apart for clues. There must be something here that shows us where the tablet is. Okay, so this is the human pyramid from the painting. Look, Hobbes has highlighted Castel again. And he connected the two. So this pyramid could be a Castel. Something was familiar about this part of the painting. Marquez was interested in this sketch as well. It scribbled all over it. It must be important. It's the tree from the painting, the, the one with all the people in it. Very creepy. That was never going to work. Castel del Sanz. I think Sanz means saints. That's what Marquez wrote on the photo. So that would make a Castel del Sanz a tower of saints. Like in the painting. This must be the clue. I guess this pretty much ties up the investigation, Georges. Yep. Should be enough to get Nave off my back. In the end, it was all about money. And greed. Madovsky wanted to sell the painting and claim the insurance. And he didn't care how many people he killed along the way. So what now? Hand over everything to the police? I guess so. With what we found out, Langham should have no trouble picking up Madovsky in Spain. I do wonder what that secret map points to. You still think the evil Gnostics are behind it all? I don't know. But I do have questions that haven't been answered. Such as? Well, what do those symbols on the painting mean? What was Marquez really up to? Why was the sign of the Tabula Veritatis hidden under layers of paint? And why is the building on fire? And what did... Did you say fire? We need to get out of here. I dropped the mints into the cola and quickly tightened the cap again. An open skylight looked like our ticket out of here. Tying the sheet to the crowbar made a halfway decent grappling hook. This should help us get out of here. After you, Nico. Terrific. Out of the fire, into the frying pan. Wait! Josh! Isn't that... Langham? Oh, thank God! Hey! Langham! Langham! Help! We're up here! Quick! Round here! Why didn't he help us? I don't know. Maybe because he started the fire. Because he wanted to kill us. Why? I have no idea. You think he killed us? Could be. Maybe Simeon too. So who is he? And who does he really work for? I don't know. But I do know one thing. This is not over. 
Josh, do you hear that? <laughs> London's finest. Now you be nice to the firemen. So what now? Now, we go to Spain in search of the Castel del Sanz and the Tabula Veritatis. Nico and I had thought the adventure was over. Actually, we'd only just started. Nothing was what it seemed. On a trail of corruption and greed, we'd stumbled upon a murderous conspiracy. A conspiracy whose roots lay in mysteries older than the written word. We didn't really have any choice. Catalonia, the foothills of the Pyrenees. After a short flight and a long drive, Nico and I arrived at Castel del Sanz. Back in London, we tracked down La Melodexia, and it started to unravel its secrets. The painting was a coded map to the location of the Tabula Veritatis, an ancient artifact which Father Simeon had claimed could raise the devil, and for which he and others had already been. We had to find the tabula before the killers. We knew they would stop at nothing. Let's just hope we got here before the bad guys. Hmm. Seems quiet enough. Looks like nobody's been here for years. Must have been a beautiful place. Once upon a time. You think the tabula is really going to be here? Somewhere, if we can just decode the painting. Well, it looks deserted. Deserted? I don't think so. Did you see who it was? No, the sun was in my eyes. Looks like somebody's beaten us to it. With who? Medovsky? Langham? Whoever it is, we need to get in there. All right. You make a diversion. I'll try and reach some cover. And be careful. Are you kidding? You're the one who's going to get shot. Parts of the wall had fallen down. A helmet on a pole? Always useful. Oh, I just hope this works. Are you ready? Can't wait. I'd made it without getting shot, but I sure didn't feel lucky. Somehow, I had to distract the shooter again, and this time, I was on my own. With a ghost from the past giving me an evil stare. Oh, heck. The apples were bruised. Oh boy, you're gonna love this. I distracted the goat, but it wouldn't take him long to eat that apple.
The goat now had a whole pile of apples to tuck into. I tossed him my last apple. I blinded the shooter, time to make a dash for it. Don't think I can't see you, Senor. If you so much as move an inch, I shall shoot you. The blunderbuss was ancient, but clearly still worked fine. Senor, please! Whoever you are, hold your fire! I'm not armed! Good. That makes it easier for me to shoot you. My name is George Stobart. I'm a friend! I have no friends. Well, that doesn't surprise me. Please, put the gun down. No. Leave now, or I shoot. All we want is a quick look inside the castell. I don't believe you. You are here to kill Senor Marquez. Senor Marquez? He's alive? Well, he'll vouch for us. You don't fool me like that. Get out of here before I kill you. Senor Marquez knows me, I swear. And I know a lie when I hear one. Go now, or I shoot. Wait! I have important information. Buste, vingue a mi. Do you understand what I am saying? Try saying it and let's see. Ah, well, uh, I'm George Stobart, and I come in peace. Please, put the gun down. I'm not armed. And I'm still not hearing an explanation. I can understand the old man being edgy, but you look like a woman who's seen the world. Nice work. You managed to insult Ramon and me in one sentence. Do you mind putting that down? I've had a really bad day. Guns don't agree with you? No, and neither do goats. I've got bruises in places that, well, you know, places. So leave. We're here looking for something. Well, go look for it somewhere else. We were helping a man called Marquez in Paris. He is my father. I could see where she inherited her temperament. Your father? Well, he's our friend. Why should I believe you? Show me proof. We tracked down his painting. La Maledicio. Look. Where did you get this? In London. All right. You better come with me, but no funny business, okay? You know, you sound just like my friend Nico. Nico! What's going on, Ramon? Who's out there? Some crazy American. Don't worry. Eva will deal with him. Papa! These people want to talk to you. Eva, I thought we agreed to shoot intruders on sight. You, how did you find me? It wasn't easy, senor. We thought you were dead. You were wrong. They've brought you something, Papa. Can it be? At last, la malediction. Well, Signor Marquez, looks like La Maledicio hangs in its right place again. Indeed. I have waited all my life for this. But something interesting? The painting. It is different. The face in the middle. The one with the symbol of the tabula veritatis on it? 
How do you know about the tabula? A priest told me. Said it was the devil's work. Pah! Priests! Full of lies, every one of them. Oh, really? Well, this priest said that the tabula was an instrument to raise the devil. Fool! Who would want to raise the devil? But you do want to find the tabula. Yes, because it is a Gnostic treasure. It is special, and my duty is to keep it safe. I was sure that Marquez still wasn't telling me the whole truth. And now? I shall decipher the painting and find the tabula. Before she died, my mother said that once the painting hung here again, its meaning would become clear, and the root to the tabula would be revealed. So, what's the answer? Where's the tabula? I don't know. The room has changed. Was there something different about the room back then? No. Yes. I don't know. You must help me. Well, how? I, I'm not a Gnostic. Senor, you must. Because soon, the Russian will be here. He knows about Castel del Sanz? I regret, senor, that in Paris, I told his sidekick a little too much. Ah. Well, I guess we'd better figure this out. And fast. I'll go and keep watch. Shoot on sight, remember. Well, Nico, what now? You try and work out just why the painting has to be in this room. I'll go and see if Eva knows anything. Whether he knew it or not, I was sure Marquez had the answers. I had to get closer before trying that. The Maledizio, back in its rightful place. But what were the clues? The photo was of the Marquez family. On the fireplace behind them were two identical statues. The bookcase held an assortment of ancient books. It was a collection of what could only be described as stuff. There was a piece of stone on the ground. It looked like a discarded statue. The door was locked. I had to get closer before trying that. The Maledizio, back in its rightful place. But what were the clues? painting held all the answers. The Tower of Saints had led us to the Castel. I wondered where the other clues would take us. A symbol was cut into the man's forehead. Simeon had claimed that it was the sign of the Tabula Veritatis. It was the figure of a priest, but with a dog's head. The figure was pointing up at a ring above him. The priest appeared to have a padlock through his mouth. 
He was pointing down to the ring below him. That was never going to happen. Senor Marquez? I think this is yours. My medallion? Where did you find it? It was left in Nico's neighbor's apartment. Do you want it back? No. You keep it for now. It has a meaning, a purpose. Perhaps you can find out what. Sure. Just let me know if you ever want it back. Senor Marquez? Mr. Stobart? If we're going to find the tabula... Yes? Then you will have to help. Of course. I mean, by being totally honest with us. Tch, when have I not been honest? Why is the Tabula Veritata so important to the Gnostics? It is an object of immense power. My ancestors kept it safe for hundreds of years. They brought it to Catalonia as exiles long ago. In any generation, only one Gnostic knows its exact location. My father, Xavier, was the last of these. He knew. Dark forces were gathering, but I was too young to learn the secret. So he commissioned La Maledicción, embedding clues to the location of the tabula within the painting. When were you last here, Signor? Not since that day when my father was killed. So why did the painting bring us here? As I said, because only here, in this room, will its clues become clear. Tell me about the painting. When I was a child, I would stand here for hours, just staring at it. Who was the mysterious painter, El Serp, the serpent? And what did it mean, La Maledicción, the curse? I asked my father, but... He just told me to be patient. He said that one day I would know everything. Senor, can you decipher any of the painting? The Tower of Saints, of course. I knew it was a castell. And the saints themselves are Gnostic. You see the woman in red? The one you marked in the photo? She is Mary Magdalene. We revere her as Christ's greatest disciple. The rest, I don't know. The symbol on the face, it is obviously the tabula. But the elements around it, I don't know. So, Eva is your daughter? She was a gift from God, late in my life. One day she will find room for Gnosticism in her heart. I am sure of it. Why would a Dominican priest, Father Simeon, 
described the Gnostics as evil. That order was founded specifically to fight heresy and to eradicate Gnosticism. Behind their backs, the Dominicans were nicknamed the Dominicanes, or Hounds of God. For years, these dogs hunted down and butchered my people. They called us heretics, but in truth, they sought to find and seize the tabula. What happened back in Paris? We thought you were dead. A man came to the apartment looking for Miss Collard. He mentioned the stolen painting owned by a Russian. Obviously, I informed him that I was the true owner. Obviously. Next thing I knew, this thug had me pinned to a chair and was threatening to shoot me. So I told him of the castell. And while he telephoned his boss, I hit him with a little china dog. Guess he didn't know you were the pugnacious type. But what is the tabula? What does it do? I do not know. I know only that in the wrong hands, it would be catastrophic for mankind. Is this one of Nico's photographs of the robbery? Yes, she gave it to me. And did you write these notes on it? Yes, I was trying to solve part of the painting. Solve? I never knew what lay in that portion of La Maledicio. The photograph you have of my family, this part of the painting was missing. But once I saw the Tower of Saints, I knew I had to come here. Just as you did, senor. Father Simeon, the Dominican priest, was carrying these papers when he was killed. So? You're not interested in them? I have no interest in priests or their papers, senor. Take a look at this sketch. It is the face in La Maledicio. It was drawn by the man who restored the painting. Then he knew of the Tabula Veritatis. What other secrets did he uncover? I don't know, but he's dead now. Just as well. The fewer that know the secrets of La Maledicio, the better. We must find the answer.